Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I'm here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And this is kind of breaking news, so we're going to get this video up first. DeSantis, Governor DeSantis in Florida, is targeting Disney World's Reedy Creek District in a special session. So uh, stuff's getting real. It sounds like DeSantis is actually serious about possibly revoking Disney's special status mm -hmm. with Reedy Creek. And there's some other things that came up. So we're going to talk about this. This just broke like 15 minutes ago. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Over 263,000 subs. Thank you for the support. We do talk a lot about Disney, having worked in and around the company for a number of years. Mm -hmm. uh, no, I did not get fired from Disney. I walked away from Disney. It wasn't worth my time to work for Disney because they don't pay very well. No, and you um, couldn't be honest either. You couldn't be honest. We had our had our tongue cut out. Uh, doing anything with Disney, it was actually in the contract. You weren't allowed to disparage them, but everybody's dunking on Disney now. So well, we, let's- We were first, well, we, early. We weren't first, we, we were, were early. early. We were early. We were early, I won't say we're first, because that's not true. Anyway, um, just a little bit of backstory here for those of you who aren't aware, this is over the quote unquote, don't say gay bill, the backlash over What is it, it. like the choice in parents education, whatever it's called. Uh, whatever it's called. Basically, Disney threatened to, you know, they, they were kind of staying silent on the situation. It turned out that they were giving money to the Republican sponsor of and the bill. And the Democratic people who voted against it as well. I want to point that out. Right. Now, Disney wasn't specifically backing that bill, but they had been giving money for years. It wasn't Chapek, it was Iger, uh, giving money to the Republicans who sponsored the bill. Uh, when Disney got pressed by the media, they did a 180 and they're like, oh yeah, we hate that bill. We hate it. We're going to do everything we can do to fight it. Well, it's a couple things. One, they were given to both sides for years because they wanted, whoever was in power, they wanted to call favors in. So whenever there's one side in power, you give more money to that side. Like in California, I'm sure they probably give more money to the Democrats than they do the Republicans. Um, cause they want to call in favors. Meanwhile, other places like Universal, like Comcast and stuff were also giving money to these people, but you don't hear jack shit about that. Yeah, so about Reedy Creek, um, when Walt Disney World was built, Disney was basically given its own government. Because they um, wanted them to come so bad. Yeah, and at that point in time, like, Orlando was just swampland. And, uh, you know, the word got out that Disney was going to buy a big chunk of Florida and they were going to plant Walt Disney World there. And the original Epcot, which was going to be basically a, a company town, <laughs> you know, but uh, things changed. Anyway, uh, here from their website, just to give you a little backstory here. In the mid 60s, uh, Disney proposed building recreation oriented development on 25,000 acres of property in central Florida. In 1967, the Florida State Legislature, working with the Walt Disney Company, created a special taxing district called the Reedy Creek Improvement District that would act with the same authority and responsibility as a county government. Uh, Disney World could then move ahead with its vision to turn 38.5 square miles of largely uninhabited pasture and swampland into a global destination resort that welcomes millions of visitors every year. The legislation said that landowners within Reedy Creek, primarily Disney World, would solely be responsible for paying the cost of providing typical municipal services like power, water, roads, fire protection, etc. Uh, taxpayers, uh, residents of Orange and Osceola, county would not have to pay for building or maintaining those services well, so it was a good deal for and it, and it still is i mean that should the taxpayers you know, don't have to pay for disney right um they've gotten all kinds of special perks since 1967 and because they threatened the florida government threatened desantis they basically said they're going to work on you know controlling legislature now yes uh desantis is like okay this is way overstepping i mean they did it so they basically privatized uh, municipalities so Disney could work faster and get Disneyland or Disney World rather up and running compared to all the, the hoops they had to jump through for Disneyland. Mm -hmm. And it worked out well for a couple of decades. But now that Disney wants to push back against the state government, uh, DeSantis is saying, no, that's not going to happen. It was more than a couple of decades, but OK. Was, Time blurts together for you. I get it. <laughs> so 50 years. It's a couple anyway. Um, so anyway, this is coming from the Sentinel. This broke about 15 minutes ago, escalating his culture war with Disney. DeSantis expanded the special session of the legislature that started Tuesday to consider eliminating Reedy Creek, uh, that independently governs much of Disney World. That would be a disaster uh, for Disney. He also wants to eliminate the carve out Disney received from the legislature for the so-called big tech law that would allow people to sue social media companies such as Facebook or Twitter if they're censored. 
that law has been blocked by a federal judge. I'm announcing today that we are expanding the call of what they are going to be considering this week, DeSantis said, in the villages. And so, yes, they will be considering their congressional map, but they will also be considering termination of all special districts that were enacted in Florida prior to 1968, and that includes Reedy Creek. Uh Mm Uh-oh. That's not that that indicates there's other ones, too, though. Yeah, representatives for Disney didn't immediately respond to a request for comment. Sure they didn't. Uh, Shit's getting real, and if you think they can't do it, they most certainly can. There there is a lot of animosity now, as I understand it, from conservatives in Florida toward the Walt Disney Company. And remember, Florida is predominantly a conservative state, and Disney has overstepped by saying we're going to... Yeah, regardless of how you feel about the bill, they're basically like, oh, we're going to do everything we can do to slap back against DeSantis. Now, the problem here is that what's going to happen, though, if this is repealed, then it's going to and they're going to make the Disney area part of the, you know, Orange or Osceola counties. That's going to probably turn around and dump a lot of stuff on the taxpayers. Then. Yes. But it's going to make Disney it's going to make it really hard for Disney to do anything without votes and permission and and they already had to have permits and shit but now you're gonna have to go through more hoops to get anything done because you're talking taxpayers to pay for shit oh my god they should just move disney to portland or seattle they're a bunch of bigots down there or texas wasn't texas they kept texas yeah they're just gonna pack up disney world if you've never been to disney world Okay, you can't even. Yeah, they clearly have not been. You can't even move Disneyland. There literally are people on Twitter. They're like, just pack it all up like a circus and move it to another state. I'm like, Uh, yeah, no. It is its own city. Okay, it you can't, you can't move Disneyland. You could move some attractions, and they have moved attractions from Disneyland to Disney World. Some of them you can. Uh, There's no way in hell you could move Disney World. You basically have to shut the whole thing down and rebuild it. The cost of billions and billions and billions of dollars and years and years and years of construction, uh, you'd have to rebuild it someplace yeah, else. Yeah, it's not happening. Not happening. Um, DeSantis thanked House Speaker Chris Sprouls and Senate President Wilton Simpson for stepping up and making sure we have uh, we make the sunset or the termination on those special districts happen, which I think is very important. Uh, State Senator Linda Stewart. Democrat from Orlando said the impact on Orange and Osceola counties could be immense. It will, it would be. Reedy Creek has been doing everything. The fire department. That's what I'm saying. Yep, they've been paying for all that infrastructure. If they take Reedy Creek away, that responsibility is going to go to a government, and the government's not going to get reimbursed for what they have to pick up and take care of. Well, Disney, I'm just saying maybe you should have had some private conversations right. uh, with with DeSantis instead of publicly virtue signaling and you wouldn't be in this situation. Right. And the thing is, like I said, though, it is going to be, it could be a negative impact to the taxpayers, um, though. I want to point that out. Yet bills were filed Tuesday addressing both the repeal of special improvement districts prior to 68 and eliminating the big tech bill carve out for theme parks, which also includes Universal, since uh, NBC Universal launched the Peacock streaming channel. Uh, This is basically him slapping back against the theme Mm -hmm. parks in Florida. DeSantis previously said he was receptive to changing the district. Now he's talking about repealing the whole thing. Uh, Yeah, so Disney World had to establish its own independent government. Um, They have control over building roads, zoning codes, building power plants, and even its own airport. Uh, He originally called the special uh, session, which is scheduled to run through Friday, for the legislature to review and approve a congressional map. And now they're talking, let's just, let's just end Reedy Creek while we're at it. Mm-hmm. Um, so, but they are bringing up that they're kind of targeting them because they spoke up. Yeah. Because they finally out said they're going to, they're going to put all their money and name behind repealing legislation and basically controlling legislation now. Yep. Um, so the uh, Democrats are, are freaking out. They said that they spoke with Reedy Creek officials last week and uh, told them they had zero communication from DeSantis or GOP lawmakers threatened to abolish them for speaking out on the hashtag don't say gay. Which they're deliberately yeah. using that hashtag. Um, what's funny to me, too, though, because the Reedy Creek, I know the fire department, um, they have been asking for more help forever at, from Disney and they weren't getting it. There's all kinds of articles out there. You can go look. But they were talking about how they think they're short-staffed, and they, they even accredited, like I said, one woman had passed away, I think, at the contemporary, because it took them too long to get there, because they had, they had another truck out someplace else. And they said that if they had had the manpower they have been asking for, that they, the woman might not have passed away. They actually flat out said this into the media and stuff. So I'm like, you know, in there, but, you know, they might get more help if it went 
to, you know, basically the, or the Orange County or Wasilla County. Yeah. So, I mean, this is, they said that, look, you know, they can, they can talk, but it's not going to be, they can't just like snap their fingers and, and end Reedy Creek. And there has to be some sort of sunset date, you know, um, on it. But the fact that they're, they're talking about it. Yeah. They have to have like, there's a time frame they have to give and everything else, but yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it, it's really interesting, though. This is this is definitely escalating, and uh, you know, it's so funny. Everybody thought it was just going to kind of uh, go away. It was going to mm-hmm. go down the memory hole, and I, I don't think it would have gotten to this point if Disney had not specifically threatened the Florida government and said, "We're going to do what we're going to do." And he's basically like, "You're a California company. We've given you a hell of a lot of perks. I mean, it, it is." Uh, you know, Florida allowed Disney World to stay open, which kept the company afloat. Mm-hmm. And I think DeSantis is probably looking at the situation like, wow, wow, you're welcome. You know, you're welcome. Thanks so much for sticking your nose yeah, I into remember politics. They had like uh, groups that were representatives from all the different big businesses and they would have meetings about reopening and what they were going to do. And Disney yeah. was that one people, one of the people that were part of that group. But Iger was supposed to be on the board over in California. And if I remember correctly, he stepped out of that board because Newsom wouldn't let them reopen. Yeah, Iger had a shit fit because Newsom uh, walked it back. I think they had private conversations. Well, with, even beyond that, they yeah. were in part of this this the group. They had like it was like Orange County something group, and then they had one in California too. And it was like basically looking at you know different organizations working together to come to some kind of terms and and guidelines to reopen. And Newsom wasn't letting them do it, so the, he just left. Yeah. And then, but Chapek was involved, I think, in the one down in Florida. I know he, they had some other people that were involved in that group in Florida. Yeah, and actually Universal kind of led the way on that. On they reopening. did. And, they uh, did. Yeah, so this is interesting. This this is not going to go away. There there are going to be long-lasting ramifications. Now it's a pissing match that's holding everybody It's a pissing match, this yeah. Thing. And uh, again, you know, he can't just snap his fingers and shut down Reedy Creek. But they basically can say, hey, in X number of years, you're, you're done, Disney. You're and on your Disney own. Disney can't snap his fingers and change legislation either. No. So, interesting Stick development. Stick to your own lanes, apparently. Pretty much. We're going to wrap this up. Yes. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye. Now he's just tasty, delicious, rotten flesh meat, which I can consume and don't read into it too much. Just like our museum, the cafe, it's open to brute through it, eager to serve. I don't think this was in the show. Run, 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 run. Oh, you got splatted. No. Oh, wait, oh, oh she was begging and what? you kicked her in the face. I don't care. Hey, guys, Squid King here. And today we're in a... <gasps> not girl boss, not girl boss at all. She is not a material girl. She is not. Oh, it's Christmas time here in your mom. Nobody wants to join your mom. What? Like, I can't even cook kid cuisine right. I would last about two minutes with Gordon Ramsay. What? Where is he? He's hiding. He's hiding from you. He better. Oh my God, you got the ax. Walker, does this look like Steven Universe? Let me punch him. Well, I'm just here for the wax. Right where you belong. Get in the dirt. Well, that was a combination of events I probably shouldn't have put together. Anyways, let's open this bottle too. Chica pinata. Is that official? Oh, no. There's a bootleg. Hello. Hey guys, it's Diamond Tool. Let's make a farm. Like and subscribe and buy my merch. I mean, while you're here, you guys should like really like and subscribe and buy our merch, all of which we have. <laughs> that is true. You can't run them carrying trash. And you can get away with one F-bomb per PG-13 movie. Oh, I wish I'd yeah. known that sooner. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna wrap this effort up. Yes. <laughs>